Alrighty, so now we're back looking at this question here where it says to compute the sum of the squared residuals for the line found in part B. Alright, that means it's not the regression equation line. It's actually this line that we found here, one point, oh no, not that one, that's regression, I'm sorry. It's this one, 1.75x plus 1.5. This, it helps if you have Excel for this problem, I have to be honest. Let me go back here to my sheet. And I don't know what happened there, but let me delete that. You don't need to see that. All right. Residuals. Well, first thing you're going to need to do is type in your x's. Let me type them again. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Now we need to find out our y hats. Right? What did we guess they were? Well, the lines right here, let me put it in some kind of color so you can see. I'm going to make this bigger just for right now so you can see. All right, there's my line. So what I wanted to do is I want to find these values for every single one of the points here. All right, so to do that, I'm going to use an equation. Equals 1.75 times, now my x is right here in this column. So let me click there, plus 1.5. All right, now let me click up here, and I'm going to drag. There we go. All right, so I figured out y hat for every single one of these. Now what I want to do is I want to find the residual. I want to figure out how off I was. All right. Well, you can do this a couple ways. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the table that they gave me. All right, so the first one, how off is negative 2 from negative 2? Don't forget, by the way, that the residual is the observed, observed, I can spell observed, minus predicted. Okay, so I need to figure out what I actually observed, which was negative 2, minus what really happened in my, or excuse me, what I predicted would happen, which is this negative 2. No residual. Well, of course there's no residual. I mean, the whole point was this particular line was using that point, negative 2, negative 2. So naturally, it's right on there, and you're not going to have any offness at all. All right, what about the next one? I observed 0. What I thought I would observe, oh, I'm sorry, this is negative 1 here. I didn't even catch that, negative 1. All right, equals, I observed 0 minus, I predicted, this guy right here. Enter. Next one, I observed um, the number 1 minus what I thought would happen, right there in cell E5. Enter. Next one. 3, take away this cell right here. Next one is 5, take away 5. Again, the last one's not going to have any residual either because the whole point was that you built it from these two points. All right, it wants the sum of the squared residuals. That's what it's asking us for down here. All right, so what you're going to have to do is square each one of these. Well, how do you do that? Well, you take this number and you square it. The caret button is above your 6, so shift 6 and then 2 and then press enter. Right, that's squared 0, 0 squared is 0. I can drag it down and it'll square all of them. So these are the squared residuals. Residuals how off your points are from the line. Right, here's the line right here. These are how off the points are from that line and then you're squaring them because if you don't square them then they're going to add up to something funky, right? But we square them to make it all positive and now I'm going to add them up. So I'm going to find the sum of all of those. There we go. So the sum of the squared residuals, what it's asking us for, the sum, add up, the squared, I squared them, residuals, right? I made a table and found out how off I was for every point. I squared that how off I was, and then I added them all up, and I get 0.375. And there it is. Some of the squared residuals for the regression line doesn't take any time at all. Oopsie, let me shift to my other sheet. And you can see it's right here. SS stands for sum of square, residuals, residual. There it is. It's 0.3. The regression line one's easy. It's the non-regression one line that is a pain. All right, there we go. That ends that tutorial. I hope that helps when you do this problem.